Hey everyone, in this short, sweet, and to the point video, I'm going to show you how to set up Steam Remote Play, and I will demonstrate that using the LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga to do it. First thing you want to determine is how your friend is going to play. If they're using a phone, yeah, you can do that too. They will need to install the Steam Link app off of the Play or App Store. If they're using a controller, have them connect that to their computer before trying to connect. Speaking of connecting, that is the next step. Only one person needs to own the game, because while using Remote Play, you'll only be progressing your friend's game. As the host, you'll want to open the Steam Overlay and navigate to the top right hand corner of your friends list and click on the Remote Play button that says Create Invite. From there, you'll go to copy that invite link for guest one and send it to your friend. Now you are able to invite multiple people to the same game, but what I experienced is guest one would be able to control the second character and then guest two would be controlling my character as well as me. So typically these sessions are best enjoyed with just one person depending on the game. Now once your friend has connected, you should be able to designate what type of input device they'll be using at any point from the screen in the Steam overlay. So I could enable the mouse control for them or the keyboard as well. but. We're just going to stick with this mobile phone. I haven't tried it myself, but people have mentioned, at least for the Skywalker Saga, that using a controller as player one and trying to have someone use it as player two will not work. So depending on which game you're playing, once your friend is in the game, they should be able to start controlling the character and moving around. But you'll probably quickly notice that they will be controlling the same character as you. So in order to fix that easily, hit F2 on the keyboard of the main main player and that will split the screen so that once that screen gets split you'll be able to start playing on the right side if you are the main client and the left side if you were on the mobile device now I'm not currently sure how to switch that but just kind of like try to work with that when you can then that's it guys minor housekeeping items to address about remote play and it in the Skywalker Saga, if you've ever described your friend as having bad internet, they will not have a good time connecting. As I noticed, it was very laggy when my friend tried joining me and they had about two out of the four bars. And uh, yes, before you ask, it will permanently be split screen. Yet, even on your own PC, even on mobile, if you're playing Star Wars and your friend dips without dropping out first, then the game will stay frozen until their controller is plugged back in. So make sure that they drop out first, otherwise you'll get to a screen where you can't, you can't continue until they connect back, which they will be unable to do so because they disconnected with that one time link that was provided to them in order to do remote play. So all you need to do to drop out is just hit escape or hit whatever button on whatever device you're using, head over to the right, go to drop out, then you're good to go. And that's it guys, good luck with your fake couch co-op experience. And if you have any questions, just drop a comment below and either myself or someone else can help you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more short, sweet, and to the point videos. Later.